At this May crowning, let us pray that we can become as generous as Mary was with her life. Please stand as we begin our May crowning ceremony with the song, Sing of Mary. Savior, our Lord and King, 
On the throne of your cross, you bestowed on us a precious legacy, a gift cherished from generation to generation. You have given us your mother. Look, there is your mother. These words are your last will and testament for us. Mary was not only meant to give birth to you, but she is also meant to continue working with you for all times to establish the kingdom of the Father on this earth. Mary is our model. She said yes to you, Lord. You made yourself dependent on her free and loving yes. She said yes from the moment of your conception and never took back her yes at any time. We know well that her yes led her to experience everything that is bitter in life's journey. Nevertheless, because you were there with her, the bitter journey transformed into a journey of joy. Una lectura del libro de Apocalipsis. Apareció en el cielo un señal maravillosa. Una mujer revestida de sol, con la luna debajo de sus pies y con una corona de doce estrellas en la cabeza. Estaba encinta y gritaba por los dolores y angustias del parto. Y apareció en el cielo otra señal. Un enorme dragón de color rojo, encendido que tiene siete cabezas y diez cuernos, y una diadema en cada cabeza. Con la cola arrestó la tercera pata de las estrellas del cielo y las arrojó sobre la tierra. Cuando la mujer estaba a punto de dar a luz, el dragón se plantó delante de ella para devorar a su hijo tan pronto como Nanciet. Ella dio a luz un hijo varón que gobernara a todas las naciones con puño de hero, pero su hijo arrepentado y llevando hasta Dios, que esta es su trono. Palabra de Dios. Mary, we need your assistance. You are a mother who shelters and prays for us. You are the model for those who want to be faithful followers of Christ. Above all, you wish that Christ be born in us anew. It is your desire that Christ be given you birth in the hearts of all persons everywhere. You, our sister in faith, who journeys with us, desire to see our hearts transformed and shaped into the hearts of Jesus. Educate us to become Christ-centered, strong and loving persons who help bring about the Christian mule of the world. We look at the Blessed Mother with the cry that comes from the lips of the elderly. Mary must help us bear all the loneliness and misery that comes with advanced age. She must walk with us through the dark gates of death into a better world.
We look at the Blessed Mother as the hope of the fathers and mothers among us. With the mother who guides and educates, we dare to let our children go into the stormy ocean of public and social life. We know they need a mother, a model, and a sure refuge. Ang mabuting balita ng Panginoon magmulakay San Lucas. Sa mga araw na iyon, si Maria ay tumindig at mag, nagmamadaling pumunta sa lupaing maburol sa lungsod ng Juda. Pumasok siya sa bahay ni Zacharias at pumati kay Elizabeth. At nangyari ng marinig ni Elizabeth ang, kay Elizabeth, uh, ang kay pagbati ni Maria Ang sanggol sa kaniyang sinapupunan ay napalundag at si Elizabeth ay napuspos ng panal na espiritu. Sa isang malakas na tinig, siya ay sumigaw na sina, sinasabi, Kapuri-puri ka sa mga kababayhan, kapuri-puri ang bunga ng iyon sinapupunan. Papaano nangyari ito sa akin na ang ina ng aking Panginoon ay pumunta sa akin? Narito sa paglinig ko ang iyong tinig ng pagbati. Ang sunggol sa aking sinapupunan ay napalundag sa kagalakan. Ikaw na sumasampalataya ay lubos na pinigpala sapagkat makaroon ng kaganapan ang mga bagay na sinabi sa iyo ng Panginoon. Ang Salita ng Diyos. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, fair one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered at what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How could this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child would be born and, be, and would be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is her sixth month for her, who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray. Loving Father, we rejoice that Mary said yes to you. She opened her heart to the mysterious, unpredictable ways of divine love. May your prayers help us to forget the silly quarrels, bids, and small goals we set for ourselves, so that we too may say yes to you. We ask this through our way to life and holiness, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us play the Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary.
Mary, we wish to crown you to acknowledge our gratitude to you for your part in the coming of Jesus Christ and hence in the redemption of the world. We trust that in the future you will take the destiny of our world and of our nation into your powerful yet kind and motherly hands. Serve us with the good wine of the Lord's salvation. Hear the cries of the unborn, the elderly, the suffering, and su suffering. Take our flowers for your crown. Let them represent our wish to win you a wreath of joy and thanksgiving for the coming era. Let us work with you, our sister in faith, to move our world into a Christ-centered age in which our people will tell, do what he tells us. Be our queen. Teach us what immense dignity there is in our Christian calling. Grant peace and joy to our hearts, our families, and our parish. Lead our nation to follow paths of justice and assist each of us to be worthy to wear the crown of our calling that the Lord has prepared for us at the end of our journey. Please kneel. As Mary, our mother, has been crowned, we consecrate this very moment in time to the Blessed Virgin. We pray. Mary, our queen, our mother, we the students of St. Bernard School honor you today with special reverence. While honoring you, Christ's mother, we pray that these devotions may cause your son to be rightly known, loved, and glorified, and all his commands observed. Mother of God and mother of men, as once you aided the beginnings of the church by your prayers, may you now exalt it as you are in heaven above all the saints and angels. Intercede with your son. May you do so until all the peoples of the human family are happily gathered together in peace and harmony, and to the one people of God, out of the glory of the most holy and undivided trinity, amen. Please be seated. For each part of the litany of veneration to Mary, please respond, pray for us. Mary, faithful person. Mary, woman of prayer. Mary, Mother of our Lord. Mary, full of grace. Mary, loving Mother. Mary, trusting person. Mary, 
Mary, bearer of hope. Mary, Queen of Heaven. Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe. Mary, Immaculate Heart. Let us pray. Generous and eternal God, as he was dying, Jesus gave his mother Mary to all people everywhere to be our mother. We know that she loves us and hopes that we may find the true path to a worthy, vivid, and beautiful life. Her son is that holy path to joy. With the help of Mary's prayers, may we step boldly and courageously onto this path of life and place ourselves in your hands. We ask this through our only way in truth, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In honor of our Blessed Virgin Mary, let us close with the memorari. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary. As we conclude, please join us in singing Immaculate Mary.